Strutters. It's another glorious day for Naya Burn against Katu. Still learning the deck, still very new with the deck. It's a four-lander, and I've been told to mulligan every four-lander. He mulligans. I think here I can keep a mul uh, one lander with the scry. But I'm gonna scry away anything that's uh, not a land. So put bolt on the bottom. Temple garden has been played. Goblin guide is gonna make an appearance. I need the red green shock land. Stomping ground is its name. Okay, that was pretty fishy not to know it. Goblin guide. And he attacks. And does he give away land? Emerge unscathed. What is that? A rebound spell. Target creature can regain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Good to know! So what am I facing here? Seeker of the way. 2-2 two -two lifelink. So if he has any... Can't deal with him either. So I'm just gonna go Goblin Guide, Swift Spear, Attack. But this guy seems... Oh, I'm gonna go Goblin Guide, Grim Lava Monster. So I can kill him. Cause... Uh, oh, he doesn't... He doesn't get plus one, plus one. He just gets lifelink. So the problem is then that one Goblin Guide has to stay at home. What? an embarrassment and then he has that emerge on skate spell so I'll just go for the lava monster and killing him so these two are going to attack he's going to get his two life Dromokos command I don't know what that does either so let's look it up does everything. Prevent all damage instant the target source spell will deal this turn. And fight creatures you don't control. Our stage fights overall. So he definitely needs to die. So now he can do it all. If he fights, if he cast an emerge on skate and then does this as well. You can put a plus one, plus one counter on him. He really likes to do that, I bet. He needs to cast something to get lifelink. Plus one, plus one, and fight seems pretty good to cast during combat. Right now. Just the beauty and growth. And we guess plus one, plus one, and lifelink. Very nice. Now I need my my command, Atarka's command, to prevent the life gain. Now he's fighting. And putting a counter. Gaining seven life. That's pretty rough for burn. And he's gonna crack that to have the protection. What the hell do I do now? Here's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, how about blocking 
gaining indestructible. Oh, he can just protect himself anyway. So I think I'm pretty screwed here. I don't have any plan. I can just do some damage to him, but that doesn't do anything. He needs to keep mana up as well. Do I have any reach here? Seems like a pretty good way to counter burn, but so clunky. Now he could even kill me. Phalanx leader, so it's Celestia Heroic. I'm gonna bring in my paths. I'm using the modern burn bible here, but it doesn't have anything for rogue decks. Would be very surprised if he doesn't attack. He doesn't. So now I have skull crack. Hmm. So protection doesn't work. I can block, but yeah, I think I just have to pass the turn. I need like two more mana to skull crack and searing blaze. That's impossible. That is never going to happen. Mr. Pride Mage. So he's a 4-4 four, four, and then he becomes a 5-5. Five, five. So I could block him with everything, but then it clears my entire board. But I get rid of the lifelinker. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I do six damage to him. I don't think he can prowess. He needs to prowess three times. And that's not going to happen. So I expect Skullcrack to work here. What if you have two of those? Damage can still not be prevented, so Skullcrack should work. Emerge on Skates, which rebounds. On Phalanx Leader. Uh, okay, just to give that guy prowess. Okay, I am gonna skull crack. Yeah, now I can't do anything else. I think like everybody will die. I can't do seven damage. It's already six six. Yay, I killed him. Now I just need some way of getting Searing Blaze into effect. This guy is a 3-3 for some reason. How did that happen? Oh, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, on each creature you control. Ah, that was the way it worked. So I really, really need to kill Phalanx Leader. But I can't.
Yeah, definitely gonna bring in my paths. Uh oh. I think Goblin Guide is going to do some serious blocking here. Oh, I can't. Protection for red, of course. So I'm just gonna take it. Okay, I can block this guy. And I think I will. Hmm. Not going as planned. I feel like that despair you feel when playing as a rogue deck that just seems too good. But of course it isn't too good because then I would have known about the deck. Could I have killed him next turn? I could do 8 damage. Oh, it's another one of those. Hmm, what do I do now? I die. Yeah, it's way too late for anything. So I resign to my fate. fate. And then I start thinking about what I want here. Definitely want the paths. The searing blaze. Take out some non-interactive stuff, such as Boris Charm. That's gonna be my sideboarding, actually. I feel Lava Spike is more useful than Boris Charm, but I am very new to the deck, and uh, please advise me how you would have sideboarded. A three lander, I can keep three landers with an Eidolon. This should be good. So I'm gonna get the straight up mountain here in Mulligans once, in Mulligans twice. I could beat this guy. It could happen. Getting a pure red-blooded mountain. Playing Goblin Guide, attacking with Goblin Guide. He finds a windswept heath, he can have it. It's not a problem. Oh, damage. I like it. Like when you take the damage. Is there something you can do for one mana? Don't like that. Oh, well, that means Searing Blaze, I think. Do I get the other mountain? No, I don't. I just Searing Blaze this guy with the Stomping Ground. I have a stomping ground, I need just the sacred foundry. Searing blaze. And some serious damage dealing. I wonder what terrors he comes up with now. I can bolt an Eidolon. Anything that's truly scary, but it's just the Pride Mage. Which I don't care much about. He can block Goblin Guide, then Goblin Guide dies, but that's okay, isn't it? But if I bolt him and just hit him... And play Eidolon. What's the right line here? I would lose my Goblin Guide. I think just bolt him and play Eidolon. But bolting him and playing Swift Spear is so much nicer. I think I'm gonna go with that. One 
Oh, I played it in the wrong order. Okay, now I'm gonna do it the other way around. Oh, that was stupid. So stomping around Eidolon then. Yes. Absolutely. I'm not sure about that bolt. And I'm not sure about what the line should have been last turn. So tell me what you think at 15.20. Play Swiss Bear before bolt. But you need to get the Eidolon down as well. It was a pretty complicated choice. Probably easy to someone experienced with the decks. Tell me what you think. Engineer explosives. For how much? For one. So you can blow up the goblin guide, so don't play any more of those. So you just swing and hope he blows it up, so we can play the others. Or we wait with them. He has to blow it up now, right? Six life, and he's going down to four. really going to two he's going to two but that means he can't cast anything that was weird so he just kills himself with Dromoka's command Eidolon pretty good I'm not going to get explosive with this. I'm going to stick to this sideboard plan. If you know a name for his deck, please tell me. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to swift spear until I can swift spear no more. Hurt yourself. You know you want to hurt yourself. He has to hurt himself with that land. Mm, free damage, the best. So now I might have to fetch both Sacred Foundry and... Oh, stupid. Always bolt the bird, but I can't bolt the bird. And now I can fetch a mountain and play Swift Spear. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So much worse than Goblin Guide. What? Oh, Mutanic Growth. Yeah, it's not like I'm not gonna attack otherwise, so of course I still play it that way. Okay, what do I do now? I do Lava Spike Swift Spear. Will you now insult me by attacking? No, you wouldn't. Skull crack. It's still swift spear, lava spike. So here is the swift spear. And here is the lava spike. And that worked. There is nine damage in my hand. But now he's gonna get. Uh, that's not the lifelink, dude. That's just that guy. So now I just need one more burn spell. And I can quite easily do that. He can't raise me. Wow, Phalanx Leader, pretty sweet card. I'm gonna buy me a couple of Phalanx Leaders. 
Here's the Rift Bolt. So here I think I'm just... Okay, we need to prevent him from getting life, but... Yeah, we need to keep up Skullcrack and cast Skullcrack over Targus Command at the end of his turn. So I can't finish him next turn even if I wanted. He could do a crap ton of damage. But not with this. Can't kill me with that guy. So I'm just gonna take this. Question then is if I go for Sacred Foundry or just the mountain because it does less damage to me. But I still have the Swift Spear to block with. So I'm doing the full damage to myself. And skull crack. If I get the bolt now, I win. Or lava spike. So here comes the suspended rift bolt. Going to the face. I get the bolt. So that should be enough. And then a Tarkas command. Uh, do I want plus one? But no, I want, can't gain life this turn. But that will not play. I'm not gonna attack anyway, I'm gonna do it. Yes! Burn! Burn works! Are you in trouble? Just keep burning. I think I made a ton of mistakes in that match, but it was very educational. And unfortunately, I was playing against the deck that maybe had some mana problems, some steep costs, etc. But that was interesting. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put that in my modern statistics document. This was the ninth match, I think. And it was the 10th match and I'm 6-4 with the deck. Um, I'm gonna put that down as Celestia Heroic. Burn just wins. Here are all my matches. 10 matches, 90 to go and then some tournaments perhaps if you want to see that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.